Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel, Dream of Crafts. My name is Deanna. Today we'll be finishing up week number 48 of my 52 weeks of Christmas. This is the decorating part of our snow globe with a display stand. Uh, and it's made out of a peanut can, a large peanut can. And that size was... 28 ounce size can so that is what this is made of just as a reminder so i come back in last night after dinner and i decided to cut this down here so um i'll show you what it looked like if you don't remember it was like that so it was kind of cutting off my display part there, or part of my um, decoration. So I decided to just trim that front down just a little bit. So I just took my scrap from the inside cut of this, lined it up, and then just drew a drew the shape there, and then cut it off with my X-Acto blade so that that is not um, covering up uh, that cutout piece. So we're going to go ahead and um, continue to work on this. Now I did notice that this is visible, this aluminum. So I did cut another piece of this. Um, it's from the Humpty Dumpty pack, uh, that paper that I was using, that I showed yesterday in the video. So I just cut a piece of this, and this is going to get covered too. But just to make sure you can't see that silver, I'm going to glue this in that bottom piece. I don't know why I thought that it wouldn't be visible. I think I didn't realize how deep this can was and how much um, stuff would be needed to fill it up. So I'm having trouble with my glue here. It's no wonder I don't have any nails. Let's see if that works. Nope, not yet. So, and uh, yesterday's video was a little over an hour and 20 minutes. So that was a little long, but there's a lot to do in this. So, there we go. There we got it. So this piece is just cut one inch wide to slide down in there. Try to keep your view the best I can there. And make sure that now that is covering, let's slide it this way. There we go. All right. Whoops. So I'm going to go ahead and press it down in. And like I said, we're going to be gluing some things in here so that... Um, other piece that's right there missing is not going to matter because we're going to glue some um, fake pine boughs down in here. I thought about doing another um, piece like this with snow, but I decided that I want to go with some some pine. So these will actually be going like this down in there. And I thought those would look nice in there. So we'll go ahead and get those glued in. These are just um, plastic. They're from a, a large pick I bought um, a few weeks back. Getting ready for the holiday season. That's going to drip there. There we go. So now I'm not going to put um, an acetate paper or anything over this. Uh, I don't think it really needs it. If you want, you can. I do have acetate. I just figured that it would be um, better to not do that. I'm going to let that glue kind of drip down in there. As you can see, that leaves it still open. It's not sticking out. I did uh, think about these kind, but they were sticking out. And I thought if you did want to put um, acetate on there, do that before you uh, laid your final piece down here, though, so that it would be sandwiched in between there. Um, so 
just to keep that in mind. And then I just have a, a little sprig of berries here from a pick. I'm going to glue those in there because the birds have these berries. And there's um, berries in the other pictures too. So we'll just, I'm just going to actually put a dab of glue right there to slide that into. There we go. Just kind of like that. There we go. Get you in there. There. So we're going to let that set a second. Blue strings. This is um, the amount of scraps I have so far. I mean, from my from this pack that I use, not from the other two pieces of cardstock that I use from Graphic 45 other um, collections. Just from this Winter Wonderland collection is what my scraps so far. So that's pretty good that I don't have that much scraps. All right. I think that's probably set up now. So I want to take this bird, and this is the one that I cut out from the front, and I don't want to block the the house in there so much. So I think I'm going to have him kind of like that. So you can still see in there. And I fussy cut him out and then just uh, put... Um, did I do that the right way? Might have some glue hanging off the edge there. Guess I'm going to slide it so it smears it. Um, fussy cut him out, like I said, of that front page. I want him back further just a little bit. There we go. Just like that. There we go. That's better. All right. Let's just go ahead and set this back in the stand here so we get the full effect while we're decorating. There we go. And then when we get to the top part, then we'll... Uh, I hot glued some of these smaller berries from picks that I had um, to the smallest point setter that I made yesterday. I'm going to put a dot of glue down there. And I'm going to glue this down here on this corner. Remember that piece of paper was different. And we are covering that up so you will never know. But I do want to still see the word Winter Wonderland. So we'll let that glue on there. These things I think are going to be for the top. So this piece of greenery here uh, is just from a pick again. I quite often will pull my picks apart to use. So I curved this and I thought this would look good up here. So here I'll put it there and then I'll tip it so you can see. Just like that. I'm going to lay a bead of hot glue on that. And try to get it before it drips on me. And I'm going to hold that a second. I want to make sure that's dried on there really good. I got it on a slight angle. As you can see. Oops. Come on. That hot glue should drip down there pretty quick and start holding on the paper. Give it a good firm press. All right, I think we're in. And here's some bigger berries, and they've got some uh, little um, sprinkles on them. So. Just a sign. I can cut that shorter too. Just cut that just a little bit shorter. There we go. Yeah. Something like that, I think. Do you want to see it that way? Like that? Uh, maybe 
maybe I'll do it upside down. Yeah, I'll do it like that. There we go. All right. So I'm going to put a dab of glue on there. Try to keep this from dripping all over the place. There we go. Just like that. And then this is that little bird. Now he was, he was pink. He was a cute pink little bird. But I wanted him to match the bird in this picture so I looked at the other pictures of the birds and kind of went in between this one here and the other ones in the in the pack and I might line this up there we go let's stir it now okay so I think I'm going to put him nestled in here and make sure that's dried and that is not Make sure that's dried in there. Press that down. Let that kind of set up first before I keep moving it around. I don't know exactly how I'm going to decorate it. I pulled, like I've got my tray of things that I showed you yesterday that I have pulled. Oh, here's a couple more pieces of scrap. There we go. Um to use for decorating but I didn't know exactly what all I would be doing so I'm going to glue this little bird right there In place. It was actually pretty easy to paint. I was really surprised how easy it was to paint. So then you can see him that way. And then again, maybe I'll trim a couple of these little pine things to unblock his face. And you can do this with scissors too, I'm sure. There. So that looks a little better. Okay. All right. Now I have some. Well, I thought about putting this down there. Okay. Got the smaller one. This is just like poinsettia leaves from a different pick. Need that plastic on there. All right. Hmm. Not quite sure. All right. So let's go ahead and start putting some of our poinsettias on there. Just like that. I'll give you see if I can get you a good close up of that. The light, I don't know if it's in the camera that I'm seeing in the view I'm seeing it doesn't sparkle, but it is very sparkly. I don't know if you're catching that. So but it is it is sparkly. All right. And then I've got some other balls and stuff. So let's uh Ooh. I'll have to go back and pick all the glue strings out. We will, we will. Okay. Right, so I've got three of those. Let me grab another flower here. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, 
you know, let's go ahead and hot glue one right there. Just like so. Got my other bear in here too. I got put down there. Um, let's see here. Get one of these in there. Okay, I'm just gonna put a little dot of glue underneath here. It'll be easier than trying to put the glue on that little tiny stem there. There we go. And stand it back up. And these I just snip apart too. I keep them together while they're in the, um, when I store them because uh, one of these days I'll do a walkthrough and show you my pick closet that uh, I keep all my picks in. And it just, I've got, um, like the shelving you would buy for your closet shelving only i've got it fastened to the wall on like hooks and then it drops down on an angle and then took um like cardboard and put it on the shelf so things wouldn't fall through and so they're all angled almost like you would do a shoe rack but then i have my picks on them so maybe someday i'll do a walk through my craft room is in complete disarray right now i looked around this morning and couldn't believe it it's just it's awful it is awful you know what let me oh no nope, that's one's down now it's down now we can put a berry down here though hmm, we'll just wait on that I want to get something, I think, on these ends here, but I wasn't quite sure what. Let's lay this down here a second. And that might be cute down there. Like that. Yeah, let's go ahead. I like bringing in the natural things, so we're going to put some hot glue on there, and then we're going to set that. We don't want it to interfere with being able to come off and on the stand. You can permanently affix it to the stand if you want. Everything's got to be held just for us, just for a little bit until that starts setting up. Okay, come on. Give it a good press there. This is actually quite sturdy. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised how sturdy this is. And let's see here. I like those berries, but that. Okay, let's see here. Blue strings. All right, so I'm going to trim this down. Oh, maybe I should put one of these in there. No, too big. Too big, too big. We can get a white in there. Oh, I know. Pine cones. My pine cones out here. Let's take a look. Yeah, we'll do some pine cones. These are from a tree that I used to have in my yard. We had three of them and they got too big and they weren't doing so good anymore. So my husband cut them down. So I no longer have a source for these cute cones here. You can see the, I don't know if you can, no, can't see that, I'm sorry. 
There we go. Nope, still can't see it very good. All right, when I glue the next one on, I'll hold it so you can see it that way. But it touches those needles and they start wiggling around, curling up because the, the hot glue is kind of melting them. Just looks kind of funny. All right, let me hold this up here for you. All right, put that one on there. I know my hand's in the way too. I'm trying to get it so you can see it. There we go. And then last but not least, here, come here. Let's go ahead and we'll put the glue right in there. That would be a little easier. There. So we got our trio of pine cones and a little pine. Yeah, I think that looks good. So now let's just do the other side. Same thing. We're gonna put it back like that. So let me get some hot glue on there started. And I'm just holding that in place. Letting that hot glue set up here. This has actually been a fun little project. It's, you know, like I said, it, I had that can um, all summer long. It's been sitting in my craft room. And I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. I've done the clocks with uh, smaller peanut cans and things like that. If you uh, want to see those videos, they are in my, in my video selections. One is under Christmas. And the other one is an everyday project. And I do those um, videos for those too. So if you wanted to see the smaller can turned into a clock, then those videos are available for you. But I thought, so I really don't want to do that. And I kept looking and I thought, you know what? That might make a cute snow globe. So here we are. All right, let me get a few more pine cones. I don't want them too big. There we go. Turn this so you can see it. I'll find a view for you here. Well, maybe like that, but then I can't see. A little compromise. How about right there? Okay. I'll lift it up in just a second so you can see better. Okay, so now I'm going to tip it so you can see better. We're going to put a puddle of glue right there. Okay, and then we'll get this last color in there. And there's quite the puddle in there, so you just got to let that start setting up a bit. Right. Let's turn it around. Let me take a look here. That's what it looks like from the front side. Side. Now, I didn't do any decorative paper on the sides here. You could. Um, you could do something on there. I don't really have anything left in here, and I don't want to cut another sheet. And I am fine with that because we can continue to decorate a little bit here. Now, I did the only thing Graphic 45, other than the picks that and the flowers that I made, um, were these roses that I get from AliExpress. Wish sells them too, but I have better success with Ali. So... Um, I want to use a few of these, I think, in here. 
But let's go ahead. We'll do those kind of at the more like the end of it. Oh, look at that. I got all these flowers I made up. I want to use more of them. Let's get one of these down here on this here, like that. Or where's my line? That one's down there. Okay. Put it in there. Um, first, I'm going to take this little thing here and I'm going to put a dab of glue there and then we'll put that right in there like that. We'll do it all at once here. Okay. All right. Right up in there like that. Tip it. There you go. Now you can see it. It's holding pretty good. Alrighty. And then I don't think I need any more pine. Do I need more pine? Let me see here. Yeah, I guess that wouldn't hurt to uh, let me hold this like this. Tip it for you. I'll stick maybe a piece of pine right up in there like that. There we go. Up in there like that. I'm going to tilt it so that the glue is dripping down here. I'm just going to take it out there a second. Let that glue drip down. See if I can find some of my tiniest pine cones here. I have some really tiny ones that are from a park in Grand Haven. If you watch my videos, you've heard me talk about them before. And I should go back out there. And uh, and get some more. I'm gonna set this in there a second, just like that. There, now I can reach it. Um, before the weather changes, it's already starting. Already starting to change. So before too much snow gets on the ground, you're supposed to. In the video yesterday, I told you we we're supposed to get. Two to four inches. Woke up this morning. Happy that there was no snow on the ground. Oh, that one's kind of falling apart. I don't know why. Maybe that'll hold it together. There we go. So we tip that so you can see it. All right. And I'll just keep tipping it so you can see it. I know you're, I know it's hard to see while I'm working on it. But if I don't hold it at an angle that I can see, then, um, <laughs> then it won't turn out at all. So let me get, uh, do my markers. There they are. Let me see here. Whoopsie. Maybe, maybe like that. Okay, let's go ahead and put those there like that. Okay. Let's see. Here. One of these I start to unravel this one here. Okay, with these roses, what I do is I snip off and I leave about a, oh, about a quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch, fold it over with my nippers, and then that keeps them held together. Otherwise, sometimes they want to fall apart. So let's get a couple white ones in here. These are nice for fillers. Now, I had, and I thought I still had some, but I cannot locate them. Graphic 45 has some beautiful roses. They are luxurious. And um, I thought I had a pack of red ones left. 
but I don't know what I did with them. So otherwise I'd be using those on this. I know I used one for the clock video, but I didn't use the other pack I had for anything. And I looked around and couldn't find them. They're here. They are here. I just got to locate them. So, All right. So let me tip this and show you that. There we go. Right there. I do have some snowflake. They're like, um, they're plastic. They're not a button. There's no back on them. But, um, come on. Can't get it open. There we go. But they're little, like, pearls, flatback pearls. But uh, I thought those might look cute on here. Here and there, you oh, can put a couple of those on. I'm just going to put a very small dot of hot glue on and then set it. And you could use the art glitter glue too, should hold them pretty good. Let me get a few of these going here. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Slippery, you're slippery. It's a little dab of green. And the corner of that. See if it'll stay there. So we'll use those throughout this thing here. All right. Now for the back, I have this card that I cut out and I thought that would look nice on the back here so let me set it in here make sure it's straight it looks pretty straight let me line this up here I'm gonna kind of pinch this so it stays right in there and I'm thinking maybe like right there so let me go ahead and get some glue on that and this was the one that I cut from the tags paper. Just to add decoration to the back. So I'll hold, show you in just one second. Let me double check. It's not perfect to me. Oh, it's pretty straight. Okay. Upside down. <laughs> it's upside down. There we go. Got it in the general area. I need that. There we go. Should put this on before I start decorating. Would have been easier. That's all right. Not a biggie. There we go. So now, well, I've got this out here a second. Let's go ahead and glue some of those roses around there. Also, let's see here. Let me cover my glue. So I don't have more troubles with it a little later. Oops, I'm sorry, I'm out of frame. Apologize. So let's do lots of little blue strings. But there always is. There we 
down. And then maybe a little pine cone here. To add a little something extra. And then about a couple of these snowflakes on the back here. Man, they are slippery this morning. Try to hold on to them there. Like so. Put a third one about right up in there. I'm going to put this back in its stand a minute. So I can... Take another look at it. Get the glue strings all behind. Let me look at it from the front to make sure I have the front lined up so I don't start putting stuff on crooked. Hang on. There we go. Okay. So that is where we're at right now. I don't think I'm going to lay some more of the flowers down in here. little pine cone All right. a little dab of glue there just like that okay ah, that looks cute so I think we're going to leave the back like that well no I think we're going to leave the back like that this way, this can be displayed on an end table or a coffee table. And uh, you can see all sides of it. I'm going to grab a skewer here. And these little wires that I just cut off, I'm going to take them and start wrapping them around that wire. Whoops, I am sorry. God, I hope I'm not out of view all the time. And it just makes like a little curly spring. Might not even be visible. Yeah, we'll just glue a couple of those in here and there. Maybe. Well, you know what? I'm not even going to waste my time because I don't think they're going to be that visible with that green. So we won't do that this time. Sometimes they're more visible than other things. All right, let's keep going here. Let me trim this down a little bit so it's not so long. Okay. I'm going to stick that down in there like so. That glue should drip down in there. And then my other one is right there. I have to get that right over in here by this bird here. Or down in here. Yeah, let's get it in by that bird there. So we'll just put a dollop on the top there. I've got to expand. I must have, I was looking at my video selection earlier and I changed how far I was. Let me see here. There we go. And I didn't realize I didn't change it back. So I, sorry. You get used to working in the same zone and then 
I shouldn't have changed it. I just was kind of looking and didn't change it back. All right. I do like these berries here. I already got some, so I think I'm going to leave that. You know what? I think I think I'm good. I think we're just going to leave it at that. All right. I think that works perfect. I think that's just the right amount. I do, I do. Okay, let me straighten it out a little bit. So, again, this is the part two of week 48 of my 52 weeks of Christmas. I want to thank you for following along and joining in. Hope you give it a try. These projects, um, although it was a little, took me a little bit longer because I had to figure out everything. So hopefully things, if you try it, will move along a lot faster for you because you have the um, knowledge of how to do it in your court. So um, I do appreciate you following along. So thumbs up is always appreciated. And if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet and you would like to, below this video, there's a subscribe button. You hit that and then the bell should pop up. If you hit that bell, you'll be notified each time that I put up a new video. So until the next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.